I thought this was supposed to be about stocks. Where? <laughs> Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Yeah, baby. Oh, you guys still out there listening and enjoying the stock market? Because I tell you guys, I've been doing this for, I don't know, 20 years right now. I just had my best month in about 10 or 15 years. Uh, maybe it has something to do with me not doing videos and concentrating on trading, but my God. First of all, GDP number came out just now. And once again, who cares? Who cares? Just ignore the market and stick with your individual names. That's all we've been doing. You got an earnings report, focus your attention on that stock for the next couple of days. You got Facebook and Apple coming back to life. And I wanna talk about this incredible market that we're in right now. Remember, uh, I think maybe one or two videos ago, we were actually going down. We had our first three day down uh, in, a, in a long time. And everybody was getting out of, you know, trying to think where we were going to go to, this was it, the market had run too fast, all the doomsday guys were getting their blogs ready, and we didn't even get to hit enter on or send, and the market had already rebounded, and now we're at all-time highs. Now, again, I'm never going to talk about where the market's going anymore. I think it's going to Dow 20,000. I thought that even when we were crashing, as soon as we made that turn, and we started going up every day. To me, it looked like we were going about 18,758 was my prediction for December of last year. A little bit, a little bit too much. But you know what? My now my projections are saying around Dow 20,000 for 2016. But again, it doesn't matter. That's the point. I don't care. I don't care about the market. What I do care about is Facebook and Apple. Now, it's incredible that this market has rallied so much. Who would have thought that the market would be able to break new highs, shake off everything in its path without the help of Apple, as Apple was actually going down this whole time. So when the market started to come back, what was left for this market to do was to invite Apple back to the party, but even better, who else got invited to the party? Our boy Facebook. Now, I wish I could tell you that I still owned it right now. I was buying it in the 20s, and we had some calls going into the earnings report. Again, we don't like gambling on earnings reports, but with Facebook, we thought the risk reward was pretty good. Now, when this thing was popping over $30 in the aftermarket that day, I sold my shares. I'm not going to bullshit you. I sold it $31, okay? And as soon as the market opened up that next day, I sold the calls also. I wasn't about to not take this profit on a stock that's always come back. But I guess this time, and... We talked about this for the last year or so. What's it going to take to shake off the blues in Facebook? It's going to take one monster earnings report and then a short squeeze. Because people are still betting against that stock. People are still hating on it. And I'll tell you something. I know personally guys that were shorting the crap out of that thing at 35 and even at 37. Because they just don't want to believe in this market. The, half the reason. Uh, you know what, more than half the reason this market keeps going up is because people keep shorting into it. Oh, you can't even say it's people. It's more like algorithms and pre-programs, whatever the case. You could see what was happening in Facebook yesterday was phenomenal. It would go up. It would pause. You would see people take that opportunity to go short, and they would probably say, oh, if it breaks the high of the day, I'll cover it. breaks the high of the day, they cover it. Next thing you know, it pauses. Ah, they put a short on. Next thing you know, if it breaks the high today, I'll cover it. And so forth and so forth and so on. At English language. All I know is once it broke out, to me, the market is one huge algorithm right now. We're fighting the matrix. And right now, the funny thing about this market is that the government, everyone uses that word manipulation. The market's manipulated. Right now, it's manipulated to pretty much go up 90% of the time, yet people still sit here and fight and are angry about it. I own one stock, sorry, I own three stocks right now. DMND, AMD, and a little ARUN. And that's it. I'm not in the market because every day I come in, I watch some stocks that report earnings, I see how they react. If they start to reverse, generally they go down. If they start to gain momentum, generally they keep going up. I trade those for three days after they report. That's been a great trade. We crushed HLF on the short side yesterday. We sold calls against it. We bought puts on it. 
it was a great trade. And of course, Facebook. Now Facebook, it was a nice short finally when it did double top there at 37.65 yesterday. But even though it went down about 65 cents, by the end of the day, it was breaking new highs. See, the thing is with Facebook, I just assumed that, okay, Facebook, good numbers, bring it to the IPO price. Enter, 38 bucks. I thought 38 bucks was inevitable, and here it is. So right now, there's been, I gotta tell you, the best trading I've ever seen. Forward, backward, and it should continue. Maybe we chill out in August, but right now, I don't see any reason for it. People are saying this would have been a this has been a boring month. Best month in 10 years. Best month in 10 years. And I want you guys to enjoy it. So come to the website. If you haven't taken a free trial yet, come and join us. We hang out. We're just normal guys sitting around trading all day. And uh, you know, it's 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 been phenomenal. So thank you for everybody that's been showing up, and hopefully I'll see some new faces very soon. All right, and if you ever want to talk trading or how to get into this industry, if you want to learn anything about what we do, again, just email me at info at hitthebid.com. And if you don't know, you could call me my real name from time to time now. You know, I like being called the Krull. That was the religion I started 15 years ago. And uh, it's not my real name. All right, so if you don't know my real name, come and find out what my real name is on, uh, on the broadcast. All right, guys, be well.